System Unit Components The system unit is the main case of a desktop computer where all the internal components are housed. Here are the main components you can find in a system unit. The motherboard. Processor. Memory. Expansion slots. Ports and connectors. Power supply. 1. The motherboard. The motherboard is one of the most important components in a computer system unit. As it serves as the main circuit board. That connects all the other components together. It is often called the heart of the computer because it controls and manages the flow of data between all the other parts of the computer. Here are some key features of a motherboard. Form factor. This refers to the size and shape of the motherboard. There are several different form factors available, such as ATX, Micro ATX, and Mini ITX, each with its own size and features. CPU socket. The CPU socket is the slot where the processor is installed. The type of socket will depend on the type of processor you plan to use. RAM slots. The motherboard will have one or more slots for installing RAM modules, which are used to temporarily store data while the computer is running. Expansion slots. These are the slots on the motherboard, where you can install expansion cards, such as graphics cards, sound cards, or network cards. Chipset. The chipset is a group of chips that manage the communication between the CPU, RAM, and other components on the motherboard. Connectors. The motherboard will have a variety of connectors for connecting peripherals, such as USB devices, audio cables, and network cables. BIOS. The BIOS, Basic Input, Output System, is a firmware program that controls the startup process of the computer and manages the hardware settings. Warning. When selecting a motherboard, it is important to make sure it is compatible with your other components, such as the CPU and RAM, and that it has the necessary features and connectivity options to meet your needs. 2. Processor. It is also known as a central processing unit, CPU. It is the brain of a computer system. It is responsible for carrying out instructions and performing calculations, making it one of the most important components in a computer system. Here are some key features of a processor. The control unit. The control unit, CU, is a component of the central processing unit, CPU, that manages the execution of instructions. Its primary function is to decode instructions and coordinate the flow of data between the CPU, memory, and input, output devices. The arithmetic logic unit. The arithmetic logic unit, ALU, is another component of the CPU that performs arithmetic and logical operations on data. It is responsible for performing addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and other arithmetic operations, as well as logical operations such as AND, OR, and NOT. Machine Cycle The machine cycle is the basic operation of the CPU, and it consists of fetching an instruction from memory, decoding the instruction, executing the instruction, and storing the results. This process is repeated for each instruction in a program. The system clock. The system clock is a component of the CPU that generates a regular pulse or signal that synchronizes the operations of the CPU and other components of the computer. The clock speed is measured in Hertz, Hz, and it determines how many machine cycles can be executed per second. Comparison of PC processors. PC processors can be compared based on various factors, including Clock speed, number of cores, cache size, power consumption, and price. Some of the popular processes for desktop and laptop computers are Intel Core i7, AMD Ryzen 7, Intel Core i9, AMD Ryzen 9, and Intel Xeon. The choice of processor depends on the intended use of the computer, as well as the budget of the user. 3. Memory. Memory refers to the electronic devices used to store and retrieve digital data. It is essential in modern computing systems, as it allows for the quick retrieval of information necessary for processing and executing tasks, bits and bytes. The smallest unit of digital information is a bit, which can represent a value of either 0 or 1. A byte is a group of 8 bits, and it is the standard unit of measurement for memory capacity. Addressing Memory addressing refers to the process of identifying and selecting specific memory locations 
Each memory location has a unique address, which is used to store and retrieve data. Types of memory. Random access memory, RAM. RAM is a type of volatile memory that temporarily stores data and program instructions. It allows for quick access and retrieval of data, but its contents are lost when the computer is turned off. Read-only memory, ROM. ROM is a non-volatile memory that stores data and program instructions permanently. Its contents cannot be modified or erased by the user. And it is used to store firmware, such as the computer's BIOS. Cache. Cache is a type of high-speed memory that stores frequently accessed data and instructions to improve the performance of the computer. It is typically located close to the processor, allowing for quick access. Flash memory. Flash memory is a type of non-volatile memory used in storage devices such as USB drives, memory cards, and solid-state drives, SSDs. It allows for high-speed data access and retrieval and is more durable than traditional hard disk drives. Complementary metal oxide semiconductor, CMOS. CMOS is a type of non-volatile memory used to store the computer's basic hardware settings, such as the date and time. It is powered by a small battery and retains its contents even when the computer is turned off.